So let's have a look at how we go about adding two vectors. So I've got two vectors here. So as you can see, we've got these angles here and we've got the direction. So what we want to do is get a an addition happening. So what we use is what we call a tip to tail. So tip to tail addition method. So what we do to go about this, we need to change our vector. When what I'm going to do is just copy it so I can still see it. So and if I get change this to a free vector and then start to add it. So put the the tip of it on the tail we'll put the tail on the tip or add the tip to the tail of the other vector so I'm going to do that and then start to look at to create a new vector there then to where it finishes then I get the addition of the two vectors there so that gives me the addition of these two vectors so that new vector is that vector plus that vector combined. Now I could if I did it the other way we could see that we would get the same. So if I get the this and change it to a free vector and then start to add its it to the t uh, tail of the vector there. So we could start to see that we end up in the same point. Now hopefully what you're noticing there is that we start to get a nice little uh, parallelogram and that's how we should go about getting the addition of these two vectors because they sh those two lines should be parallel because when we're, we're changing it to a free vector which means they stay in the same uh, at the same angle in the plane so do they so they the same and they're the same distance so basically if we can create a parallelogram the diagonal of the parallelogram here would be our addition of our two vectors. So it doesn't matter which way we go, we always end up in the same spot. So let's have a look and show that with some numbers. So we've got 4 plus 2i for z1. Z, uh, z2 is 1 plus 3i. So if we did the addition here, just to show it, uh, we, our new vector would be for the z1 plus z2 would be equal to 4 plus 1 is 5 and 2i plus 3i equals 5i. So we should end up with that from our vector addition. So again, we've done our parallelogram here. We've taken our vectors for 1 plus 3i here for z2 and made it a free vector, put it to the tip to the tail of um, 4, point, uh, 4 plus 2, 2i. So the tip to tail there at that point, tip to tail here as 4 plus 2i is a free vector. And they've both matched up at 5 plus 5i. So they match up. And when we've, we've noticed we've, we have done this one reasonable to scale. So we end up with that free that vector there being the addition of those two using our uh, addition of vectors. So that's how we add two vectors. And we take one, make it a free vector, and put it to the end of the vector so we are able to put it and get that parallelogram. If you get that parallelogram happening every time, it shouldn't go too far wrong because it should be able to give you a nice diagram there and be able to get that diagonal to get our required vector.